Hi guys, so I decided to play Thomas the Train game for the Nintendo Entertainment System. This is a prototype. Okay, everybody knows this exists by now. Well, maybe not everybody, whatever. Uh, I just wanted to record me playing this because to get some hilarious reactions. Choo choo in aphid form. Sliding puzzle, what's it gonna be? Yeah, like, this is so easy, you just, like, line it up. Sometimes it's ridiculously hard, sometimes it's ridiculously easy. In this case, it's very easy. Bam! A guitarist. The, the, the top hat. <laughs> Setting the switches is the easiest one. As you can see, I am in the third round of this game. And... Oh, the bridge. Oh, I think. Oh, there we go. Whoa. That's supposed to be the bridge. That's supposed to be a bridge. That looks like a mound of Burger King foot lettuce. Well, it looks like Thomas is going to the mound of Burger King foot lettuce. Yay, Thomas made it to the Burger King foot lettuce. Okay, jigsaw puzzle. Sometimes it's so easy to it's easy to know where the pieces is. Sometimes it's ridiculously hard. I just press the button two million times. And again, do not uh, tell tell me I don't have a capture card. I about don't don't be angry. I don't have a capture card. Okay, just ignore it. See, like it, sometimes it's so easy. Sometimes you just have to point it all over the place. Like where does this go? Does it go here? Like, sometimes it's just ridiculously hard. Wow. I'm just, I'm just doing all the places. Is it here? Hello, is it here? See, it's so hard. The Thomas game is hard. Something that you never hear in your lifetime. This is the only time in your life you're gonna hear that a Thomas game is hard. We're do doing some professional gaming here. Hey guys, welcome back to professional gaming episode. Whatever. Like Tom's game. Okay, get this piece. This piece goes here, obviously. Like, it's so hard in the beginning. Oh, oh, I already ran into a point where I don't know where it goes. Does it go here? I can't. I can't do it. I can't beat a Tom. I can't do a Thomas game. There we go. Oh, never mind. There we go. This obviously goes there. And now it's so easy. What the last one's going to be, yeah. Put this one right there. And we got James. Who is sad because he derailed. Just like this video. Oh! Sorry for the point. Okay, let's do it, Birdie. It's so easy to do this one, okay? You just you just go do this. You just press left and right and um, and whatever it either press A Z or X or if you're on a NES controller, it will be A or B. And you just press it. And no matter what, you will win. See, it always win you always win. Thomas always wins. Now for the track one. I usually make big tracks, but since this is a video, I want to make it short, okay? Do this. There we go. Professional gaming with Thomas the Train. That's something you don't ever feel until now. So again, this is a prototype of the Super Nintendo one. Yeah, there's, if you don't know what the two, like, there was two releases, so an at Genesis, like a Genesis and a Super Nintendo one. Super Nintendo was much better because it wasn't creepy. This is a part attack for the Super Nintendo one, but it's on the original Nintendo. Like, many names, NES, Nintendo Entertainment System, whatever. It's the first Nintendo console. And it got this guy. Look at this guy. Seen that? Seen that? 
Don't suck it in again. And nightmare fuel. <laughs> Here, that that was some nightmare fuel. So, so Tom had his nightmare fuel in this game. You would want to avoid him at all costs, because every time you see him, he is a different sort of nightmare fuel. Okay, let's play exchange. We'll see something different. In the final game, it would be Percy, but in this case, it's Thomas. Press V, James. James has a troublesome truck. Just because you have a troublesome truck doesn't make you faster, James. We got some top Thomas the number one. He always wins everything. He wins everything. He's been to he's been everywhere a million times. Okay, now let's go. Let's travel with Thomas. I'm going to Thomas Percy in the mail train and show you. This is like the funniest one. I don't even have to read to you. Look at this, Thomas. Look how tiny he is. Yeah. Let's okay, let's go to the next page. And it asks you strange questions, like what train is that? Like come on, it's obviously Thomas. But okay, I can tell because I don't I don't think the word to tell it is Thomas. Okay, they got it. They got me. Okay. Oh my god, Thomas. He doesn't even have wheels. This is supposed to be Percy, but he looks like Henry. Like, are you kidding me? Oh, you kidding me? Okay, let's go to a different one. We basically did the episode. And for some reason, in this shot, Percy actually looks like the one from the show, the Percy from the show, but this time he's gray. The only excuse I have is that it's dark, but he has a head, he has the lamp on. So, no excuses. Okay, you got the driver. Hey, I don't remember Percy pulling Amy and Foyer, but all the only time I remember is in that episode where Percy got flooded. Where there was a flood and Percy got half smudged with Amy and Foyer, and he had to get a caboose at the end. And also this boat. That, that's not supposed to be the steering thing. Okay. Oh my god. This this is this is shock value here. This is some shock value. Look at Percy's eyes. They're just staring at Harold. And Harold's like, help me. Percy's tried to do something with me. Okay, let's look at some other Okay, let's continue. Oh look at this. Look at this. It's gonna be this is gonna be Pop, this is gonna be a very popular image one day. Let's just call it when your friend pranks you. This is basically when your friend pranks you. You're like, <clears throat> like that's gonna be a popular image. I would like to call it uh, angryimage.png. Oh, look at this. They're mad. They're like, Oh, I'm Harold. I'm fly. Okay, we get it, Harold. You fly. We get it. You stop making this jealous. Because of trains, we can't fly. Except in older seasons, we do not talk about the newer ones. Okay, let's just. This goes on for a little bit, like the same ones. And then, oh my God, look at Thomas. This is supposed to be Thomas. Okay, you might be criticizing I'm charging Nintendo Entertainment System graphics, but oh my god, it's just hilarious. It's just hilarious to see this. Like, it may be hypocritical to criticize Nintendo graphics from the 1980s, but it's just so funny, okay. Let's just continue. Okay, the same picture of creepypercy.png. Okay, and they got the top of the head. He looks a bit different. And the same picture. And then the top of the head gives you a pop quiz about what is going on. Okay, it gives you a pop quiz. Pop. This is so obvious, it's four. And thank you, game. That is Percy. 
I'm glad they don't put Henry because there might be some people who confuse that that might be Henry. That. Why would anybody think that is a policeman? That is obviously his driver. Uh, and Sir Tyler Pat doesn't wear that clothing. Okay, what, what do you see here? Percy. That is obviously Percy. Okay, we. Oh, we got the picture of creepy per eye Percy. Harold, obviously, because why would Toby or James be in the crash? In the grass, unless they crash. Like, seriously. Oh, we got angry image. Got PNG again. They're at the shed. Tim the sheds, obviously. Harold is in here. Make Thomas Percy jealous. Oh, that wraps it up. It basically goes on like that for uh, like the rest of the thing, but it makes it gets harder uh, to go on in the game. Okay. Well, that it has to do with this gameplay. Creeper Master 22 signing out. And before I sign out, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to see more videos and videos with Thomas. And also, that's supposed to be Thomas or whatever. Peace out. Oh, White's comments, right? Pizza.